Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, I'm on my way back from Fort Smith. I went out today to get a whole bunch of stuff for tomorrow. Uh, going fishing tomorrow. Uh, me and Anthony and Gary are going fishing. With old Simple Life Claim Country Road here there. Tomorrow, it's going to be about the best day that we got to go fishing because of the winds and all of that. It finally quit raining this morning. Everything is still soaking wet. So I figured today was a good day to go get all of this done, go ahead and get gas for the boat. It's a little bit of a journey to go get non-ethanol gas for my boat. So I figured I would go to Fort Smith today because they got Academy Sports over there. And I needed to get a trolling motor for my boat because the last time we went out, we got stuck. And the real expensive, nice saltwater series uh, trolling motor that I had on the boat was locked up and froze up. It wouldn't work. And it left us in a little bit of a bind trying to paddle that heavy boat. So I've decided that I'm going to uh, get a trolling motor. Hold on, my phone's about to die on me. Oh, got the. I lost my screen there for a second. Hold on one second. Boom, we're back. Yeah, the whole screen went dark on me. Didn't know if I lost y'all or not. I'm back. <laughs> but uh, I didn't want to go out on the lake with us not knowing other people with boats and stuff like that without a trolling motor. And, uh, and I didn't really have too good of fishing poles either. I, I got some little ones that I bought, like my granddaughter and stuff like that. So went in and got me a new pole and then a couple of stuff for some crappie fishing. That's what I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on doing some trolling tomorrow. Um, the guy that Terry that came out to work on my boat, that's what he does. And uh, we talked about that a lot and he sent me some links and stuff to what to get for that so I'm gonna give trolley and trolley and trolley trolley in out there on Blue Mountain Lake a try in the morning I think it'll be good we're not gonna stay out there all day but uh probably until about noon uh Mel with Simple Life Reclaim and Roxanne with Country Road Cure they are going to be baking and cooking all day tomorrow for the wedding uh this weekend and they was like please get them out the house so I was like well let's go fishing <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do and uh, looking forward to it also got a couple of rod holders for the boat uh, my boat's not really set up for trolling too much so uh, I've been wanting to put some rod holders on there for a while so I got some rod holders as well so when I get back home today I will be setting everything up getting the boat hooked up and all of that went in got some gas and stuff uh, for the homestead as well I also changed the oil this morning and the generator before I left and all of that so I've been on the move it's actually not really morning honestly it's about 1230 right now I'm on my way back but uh so I've already been on the move because Fort Smith's about an hour and 15 minutes from me so the fact that I've already went there got everything that I needed and about halfway back right now I just stopped at uh, Casey's because Casey's is the only one in the area that's got a uh, non-ethanol gas and I'm trying to run non-ethanol gas and all of my small smaller motors now uh, to prolong their life and to not gum up the carburetors because uh, that ethanol is some bad stuff guys it, uh, it is rough on carburetors, especially something that you don't run on a constant basis like a boat. So um, four-wheeler, I don't mind it too much because I, I drive my four-wheeler every day. But uh, whenever I do have an extra can with me, I will get non-ethanol gas for the four-wheeler as well. And I uh, also got some two-stroke oil, stuff like that. I, I got to stop at the parts store. I want to get some sea foam because that's one thing Terry told me is to run sea foam on my gas on a regular basis that'll help keep them from getting gummed up too and it also helped clean out the carburetors uh, being that it did set for a long time before. 
before I got it up and going. So I want to make sure I'm doing everything that I can to keep it running smoothly. Uh, I showed on the video yesterday on Come On Homestead and all the telephone poles that I got. And that's also part of uh, this year's project is to get a pole barn built to be able to park the tractors, the boat, and that kind of stuff up underneath. That's pretty high on my priority list. Um, I really want to get a protective cover uh, over those things because, well, the weather out here is crazy, and we've been getting a lot of hell here lately every year. And a uh, matter of fact, it's made my insurance go up twice in the last two years because of the hail damage, I guess, that everybody's receiving. So if I can get something to uh, park everything up underneath, that'd be good. Poles are a big part of that, and uh, I'm probably going to end up, I don't know if I'm going to build the trusses or uh, buy the trusses, but <coughs> I guess I'm going to have to price them and do, you know, time versus money type thing, but I would like to get that up pretty quickly. Uh, I'm not going to concrete it or nothing like that, uh, I'm just going to put some rock down because basically all I'm going to be doing is parking stuff up underneath it. But I figure with those 10 poles, I could put five on each side, space them out about 20 foot apart. And that's a pretty good sized pole barn that can store quite a bit of stuff. So just got to figure out where I'm going to put it. Don't know yet. I don't know. It's got to be easily accessible to be able to get trailers and stuff like that from up underneath there. So I don't, I don't know where the best part's going to be for that but it's something I got to figure out it's definitely something I've been thinking about um yeah that's really about it it had rain for two days so not a whole lot going on and it wasn't just like a little bit of rain it was a lot of rain it just rained and rained and rained and the mountain is soaking wet right now um I was hoping it was dried out a little early or a little better than what it is because then I would have did some uh, work with Uber today. But uh, I'm not going to drive Uber around the yard and stuff and make mud, you know, ruts everywhere. Just got to let it dry out a little bit more. So being that we got a lot coming up this weekend and to give it a couple of days to dry, uh, with me going fishing tomorrow and me not driving on it today, and then we got the wedding and baby shower and all that stuff Saturday, that means Sunday it should be nice and dry by then to where I can actually start uh, moving and grooving around there because now that I got the hydraulic cylinder for the backhoe for Uber I want to get that back on and get the backhoe back on Uber because I want to dig up all those stumps because I need to get grass seed in the ground here very soon it's about that time and I hopefully the grass will take and it will be absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can get you spin y'all around so it doesn't focus on the mount. We should be coming up to some beautiful mountain views. I got them on my right side right now, but y'all can't see them yet. But I believe we'll be circling around here soon and then you'll see them. There they are. There they are. Look at all that gorgeousness. It is definitely springtime now. All the trees has got the leaves back. Bright green. Yep. It's impossible to keep the windshield clean out here in the country guys there's always bugs and stuff that's what y'all see down there on the lower left hand side that's some bug splatter from my little trip today the truck was actually cleaned up pretty good until this trip everybody out riding their bikes kind of windy today kind of cold it's not too bad i guess it's 68 degrees now but this morning it was chilly chilly and everything was still wet But that's about all I got today, guys. Like I said, it's just a lot of rain, so it ain't had a lot going on besides 
administrative work behind the scenes. Like I said, I uh, put out the Fired Up Friday with the cookies uh, like two days ago. I put the Come On Homesteading video out yesterday. If you ain't checked that out, go check that one out. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get back on the water. I didn't want to get my boat fixed and then it'd be two or three months before I actually go fishing. My goal is, is to take my boat out at least 10 times before winter. So tomorrow will be number one. I'm not counting the, the time that I took it out to go make sure it was fixed and all that other stuff. That was tuning and testing. But uh, I want to at least go out 10 times before uh, winter hits. I think that's a reasonable goal. And uh, it's also going to force me to uh, slow down and actually enjoy spring and summer this year a little bit and fall instead of just working non-stop so uh let me know what y'all think about that i know some of y'all be happy about it and some are gonna say oh you need to get to work but uh i'm gonna incorporate a little fun in my life this year for sure i've been going non-stop for two years trying to get comfortable finally comfortable now i'm about to enjoy my area a little bit and uh kind of see what Arkansas has to offer as far as the outdoor stuff. One of the main reasons why I moved here was to go on hikes and go fishing and swimming and kayaking and all of that other stuff and slow down a little bit in life. So I'm going to try to make that happen this year. It's going to be the start of it. Still got a lot to do, a lot of projects and stuff like that, but we're just going to keep chipping away at them and also try to have a life in the middle of it all. So. Let me know what you think. Love every single one of y'all. Almost the weekend, guys. Almost the weekend. Hope y'all have a good day. Hope y'all did something nice for somebody. Hopefully y'all are taking another step closer to your goals. And definitely I hope that y'all kept it real. Come on.